Nikki Bernstein here with assistant trainer to Mark Cassie, his son Norm Cassie, and they will saddle Conquest Titan this Saturday in the Grade 2 Miller Lite Holy Bowl Stakes, going a mile on the 16th. Now, Norm, Conquest Titan ran last at Churchill on November 30th, going a mile. He won by a length and three quarters. How's he been training after that race and since moving to Palm Meadows? You know, he's done everything that we've asked him to do. You know, obviously, this is a it's a tough race, and um, we wouldn't have him in there if we didn't think that he was doing, you know, as best as he could be doing. So, you know, he's trained very well. Now, he's run at a few different distances, uh, six furlongs, seven, a mile, mile 16. What do you feel is his best distance? Well, we believe as he begins to start routing, as he is tomorrow, that that's going to be his best. He's really bred to be a long-distance horse, and, you know, that's uh, the course that he's on. Now, he's got some speed to uh, his inside for this Saturday's race. Where would you like to see him early on? Uh, well, we'd, you know, preferably what's going to happen is Sean's going to let him break from the gate, and he's not going to ask him to run early because, uh, you know, as we discovered in his last start, that's not what he wants to do. We're going to let him settle early and uh, hopefully can save some ground into the first turn and have him come running from there. And you also have Resistivity. She will run in the grade two forward gal on Saturday. That race is going seven furlongs. She broke her maiden on December 27th here at Gulfstream. She won uh, wire to wire going a mile. Do you think the um, cut back to seven furlongs will help her? I, I do. I think her, her best race so far has been seven eighths, which is the race at the, uh, four, the distance that the four gals run at. Also, there's going to be a tremendous amount of speed in the race, and we're going to actually maybe take her back and let her settle and come with one run and uh, you know she's trained very well and I expect her to run well as, uh, on Saturday. You mentioned uh, the game plan taking her back and she is going to run out of post position one so any? It's a concern it, you know you don't want to be on the rail especially going a sprinting distance it kind of forces your hand and uh, you know uh, typically what you would do is you would send them away from there and, and, and run early. But we're not going to do that because there's so much speed in the race. Julian's a capable rider and he'll, he'll get to decide what to do. She just had a bullet five furlong work on January 18th at Palm Meadows. Were you pleased with that work? Yeah, you know, she's a filly that when she's working well, she runs well. I've I'm, I'm been very, very excited about the way she's been doing and expected to run well on Saturday. Wonderful. Well, good luck to you and your horses for this Saturday, the Grade 2 Holy Bull and the Grade 2 Forward Gal Stakes.